If you watched last week's video, you know what I'm going to be reviewing today. I got so many requests about some of these pieces here. But before we get into them, I wanted to show you a couple of pieces that I'm going to be talking about next week, which are the Ludovin sweater. It's this camel tone with the polka dots, golden. They're kind of rose gold, very pretty. And also the Aretha jumper, which I don't know why, but somehow I didn't see that on the website before and then when I saw that I really wanted to try but before we get into this I want to talk to you guys very quickly and ask you what kind of content you would like to see in the channel when I started this channel as Mila in New York I was planning to share other things and I mainly have been doing Cezanne reviews which I absolutely love doing I enjoy so much bringing those pieces here for you guys and styling them but I would love to start adding more videos to my channel other ideas and i wanted to hear from you guys because you're the one who's going to watch so please let me know below if you have any ideas perhaps you would like to see how my routine is or which outfits i wear for work or perhaps you want to see how my day is in new york maybe my routine my habits what i eat in a day i've gotten so many requests about all of that but I really wanted to see what is exactly what most people want to hear from me. I will definitely be doing those reviews. I'm not stopping with them, especially because I live in New York, so I get access to the New York City store, the Cezanne store, and I can always, always do try-ons and bring any information you guys want to know. However, like I said, I would love to start adding more things as well. So maybe I can share my entire knitwear collection from Cezanne or maybe I could just talk about how to care for them properly in terms of washing and drying. Anyways, I would love to hear from you guys so please write below what you would like to see from now on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoy and if you do, don't forget to give the thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm going to be talking today about this pair of trousers here that I recently found and as you guys know, I have been on the hunt for trousers, for pants because I do have a hard time finding pants that work for me. I do have a huge gap between my waist and my hips and because of that I usually get pants that have a really tight fit on the hips but they get loose on the waist. Anyway, so I've been trying so many pants by Cezanne and other brands as well and it's been really hard. But I like this one. This one is called the Florentino. I am wearing size 4 which I would say I can't say exactly it's my usual size because I'm always in between 4 and 6. It really depends on the fit and on the, the fabric, etc. However, I feel like this one was really snug. So I would love to get a chance to try the 6 because I think it would be more comfortable. I was able to close the buttons, but I have to say I had a really hard time sitting down. I don't think it would be comfortable. So that one, when you look at that on me, it does look okay because I feel like there's no gap anywhere and it's just hugging everywhere correctly. But like I said, it's really, really tight. I think if I try the six, I will have a better idea. And then we're going to see if there is a problem in terms of the waist and hips so we would definitely do a try on with the six and see if that's better and then i'll update you guys so this one is in a hundred percent wool it's very scratchy when you touch but it's a really warm and i think this will be amazing for fall and for winter like those cold super cold days that you don't want wind to go through you know <laughs> your pants and just make you frozen so this one has a lining it has a black lining which is very comfortable it's in viscose and although it's lined you will feel still a little bit of the wool inside it's not super uh, super itchy but it does have a little bit of itch because the lining is very thin and i appreciate that because if they had a thicker lining i think you, the, the pants would be really bulky so of course they are super long for me i'm five foot five you can see all my, my measurements Below. By the way, all these pieces are linked below so you guys can just click on them, put on your wish list if they're not available or just go check on them if you need any extra information. So I really love this color. It's like a chocolatey color, kind of dark taupe 
And I think this is super versatile because, especially for me, I have a lot of neutral sweaters and I think it would be really good um, as, as a piece to mix and match. So in terms of color and style, I think they're great. I just wish I had tried the next size because I think it would have been a better fit. Now the next piece, I have been waiting for this for so long. I think, I think since September when they actually showed up for the first time, I really wanted to get that skirt, but finally it, they released. So this skirt is really pretty. I love the details. It comes with a removable belt. It has those two big pockets on the front. Also has pockets in the back and it's super cute. I think the color is super versatile and I think that's amazing. It's also a little bit warm. I wouldn't say too warm, but definitely on the warmer side because it is wool. I'm going to show you guys what the composition is. The composition is 60% wool, 25% polyamid, 10% cashmere, and 5% polyester. So it is comfortable. It has a lining throughout the, the skirt. The only part that doesn't have lining is the waist area so if you're sensitive to wool that might bother you because it's a little bit uh, scratchy but not too bad it doesn't bother me at all especially because I like to tuck in my sweaters which means my sweater is going to be on my skin and this is going to be on the top of the sweater so this skirt is really beautiful again I wish I had gotten a six because I think the four is way too small for me I'm not bothered about the length, I think it's fine, I like mini skirts, but I felt like the hips were really tight and also the, the waist. So this one does not have any elastane, but because it's wool, I feel like it does have a tiny, tiny bit of stretch, but not something you should rely on, I think it's just for comfort. I don't think this is going to be good if you have my measurements, so if you have a little bit less, like a smaller measurement for hips and waist it should be fine but if you have the same measurements as me or something larger i would go to the next size i would try a six and that's exactly what i'm going to do i will email the Cezanne store and see if they have this in stock because it's such a beautiful skirt and i got the will jacket which is a matching one i think it would be so cute if we had you know this set so i am definitely going to try the size six and let you guys know how it went now the Pimpa shirt is something that I got so many questions, so many requests about that one. I think this is truly gorgeous. As soon as I saw on the website, I really wanted to try because I thought the colorway was so good. I'm not really into pink, but I felt like because it has so much beige in it and it also has, you know, this purple magenta color, I thought it would be really pretty. I At first, I didn't feel it would be very, very versatile because... It is a statement and it has a lot of patterns like it's a really busy pattern I would say but if you're wearing with something solid on the like as, as a bottom either skirt shorts or pants I think it would be a gorgeous piece to have I am still deciding if I'm going to keep that one because I want to make sure that it's versatile enough to keep but I really love it it's a beautiful piece this one feels comfortable and the the fabric feels like a really good fabric. I am wearing size 36 or 4, which is my usual size for tops. And I think it's a really great size. I wouldn't size down or up for that one. It's 53% viscose, 39% cotton, and 8% linen. So very comfortable, very pretty. It's an eyelet. It has eyelets all over. And I love how they made all the details. The, the sleeves are slightly ballooned, you can see, and it has this cuff here with two buttons. It has buttons throughout, the, the blouse on the front, has this beautiful lace detail, which I think is so, so pretty. Now the next piece is the Christie jacket. That is something I really wanted to try for a long time. I don't own any Christie jacket, but I've seen so many people wearing the Christie jacket in different colors, you know, in fabrics, and I was always so curious to try. So when they released that one in the houndstooth, those were my favorite ones. And because it's wool, I thought I should try because here in New York, it gets really cold. So it's definitely something I would wear a lot. For sizing, definitely size up on this one. They do suggest that if you're in between sizes, you should size up, and I totally agree with that because it would be very uncomfortable if you try to bend your arm and you get your usual size. I got the size 38 or 6, which is a size up from what I actually wear. 
and it's a perfect fit. I feel like the shoulders are pretty good. If I had gone with the four, it would be way too small. So definitely size up for that one. There's not a single place that feels too small for this or too big. So I think it's a good fit. Now you have a line a lining throughout the jacket, which feels really nice. And I think it's going to slide very well if you put a sweater inside, like if you're wearing a sweater. It has those buttons here. Those are the same ones from James, the James jumper, which I actually reviewed last week. And I have tried another Christie jacket, which I shared last, last week. So if you guys want to see that video, I will link it below so you can see. The material is just like the pants. It's 100% wool. And then the lining, 50% acetate, 50% viscose. So it's a beautiful jacket. I love the color. Like I said before, I think this is really versatile. And this is great for fall and winter. Depending on your weather, I think this will keep you warm throughout the entire winter. For us here, if I wear that during the winter, I definitely need some other coat on the top of it. But it's definitely a beautiful piece if you're thinking of layering. And I think it's something you will have for the rest of your life if you take proper care of it. It's a beautiful piece, a staple piece. And if you're looking for a jacket, I would totally recommend the Christie jacket. It does have a boxy fit, so there's nothing like curves or anything, you know, revealing your body. It's just a boxy square fit, just so you know. And the last one is the Will jacket. So the Will jacket, I was also really curious because this seems to be really popular among Suzanne lovers and I never tried the, the wheel jacket until last week. I went to the New York City store so you guys can see the video and I have tried the pink one, also the blue denim and the washed black. So they're all really cute and they had differences in terms of fit and in terms of um, feel like for the fabric. So it depends on what you want. I tried the wheel jacket, this one in a crew, in medium and small. I'm going to be doing the comparison so you can see. And I really like both, but it really depends on what you want, like how you want to wear them. Because if you're thinking of wearing something lightweight, you can just stick to your usual size. But if you're thinking of layering or wearing something a little bulkier inside, I would suggest to size up. I have to say that I think I prefer the medium because of that. I'm not planning to wear something super bulky because this is not a really thick jacket. It's not a winter jacket. For us here, this is definitely like a spring jacket or early fall jacket. So I'm planning to wear with something lightweight and I think the medium would be nice. I am inclined to keep the medium and return the small, but I will let you guys know as it goes. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Mila New York. I normally share all this there first because I post almost every day on Instagram, but here I only do that once a week. So if you're like me and patient and you want to see all of that right away, just make sure you go to my Instagram and feel free to ask any questions here or there. So the will is really pretty. It's a boxy fit. It's more like a tomboy jacket. And I really like that because it just makes everything so easy. Look at those big pockets. You can just run errands with that. You can put something like your phone, your wallet, and you don't even need a bag. So it's such an easy and practical jacket. This one I'm holding is actually size medium. It is completely lined, as you can see, and very comfortable. This part is a little bit scratchy, but not too bad, just so you know. And it has those beautiful details here. Look at this corduroy color. I think it's so cute. They also put a matching one here on the cuffs, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And for the fabric content, we have same as the skirt, I think 60% wool, 25% polyamid, 10% cashmere and 5% polyester. So Will is definitely a winner. It is a beautiful jacket. I think it's super easy, like I said, and practical. And they have so many colors. So if beige is not your color, I would just say check the other ones. They have now one with shearling inside, like a Sherpa jacket that's a lot warmer and it has corduroy on the top, which I think, I think it's probably my favorite one because it's just so warm and cozy. I tried that one in medium and I really like the, the size on me. So that's what I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be sharing some more next week, but I would definitely 
read the comments and hear what you guys have to say about the next videos that I'm going to share. Like I said, I'm going to keep up with this as on content, but I also want to share a little more on my channel and I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.